Here, we'll do like, I don't know, two or three of these, okay? So let's start with the first one. And I'm going to do it in different colors. So like, uh, what did we say here? If I see plus 3 and I want to get x by itself, Liberty, can you see that okay? You want me to zoom in? Okay. If I see that there's a plus 3, then I can always do the opposite thing. So I can go minus 3. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I got a minus 3 over on this side. Now the plus 3 and the minus 3 cancel because 3 minus 3 is 0. And we get x is equal to 9 minus 3, which is equal to 6. Everybody agree? Yeah. How do I check if that's correct? Do you know? This is like an extension. If x is equal to 6 and this is where you have arrived, then I better be able to take x equals 6 and plug it back into the equation to see if it works. So 6, so if I had x plus 3 is equal to 9, I better be able to take my answer that I get, 6, and if I plug it in, 6 plus 3 had better equal 9. Does it equal 9? Then we're good then we know we're right. Now that seems a bit trivial, but as we get down into some of the later questions, they get a bit harder, right? Then you can use that to check to see if you're right or wrong. I never actually have to give you answers. You can check to see if you're right or wrong, okay? So would you like to see another one? And I'm not even proposing we do all of these, but I will do I don't know, let's pick a hard one. Which one do you think is hard in the top section? Don't do number two yet, just the top section. Four? Or uh, you want D? What about, let's do P down here. Okay. What sign, remember what I want. I want X by itself. How do I get X by itself? I have a little plus here, don't I, on the 10? Right? The 10 is a positive. Does everybody agree? I don't see a negative. Right? So I'm assuming it's a positive. So in order to, what do I have to do? I got to do the opposite, right? Does everybody agree? Okay, so what's the opposite of adding 10? I get a minus 10. But I got to do it to both sides, right? So x is equal to 3 minus 10. What is 3 minus 10? Does that work? How could we check that? We're just replace it, right? You're switching the X, Georgia. That's right, right? So we're going to go, here's the check. I'll do the check in blue. 10 plus, what did we say X was equal to? Negative 7. So 10 plus negative 7 has to equal 3. Is that true? What's 10 plus negative 7? Do we know what that is? What did we say about the negative? It always kind of it dominates the positive, right? So essentially what this is is 10 minus 7. What's 10 minus 7? So we're right. OK? You guys get the hang of that. We'll spend some time making sure everybody's good with the first section. Then we'll jump down to the second one. Okay, and then hopefully by the end of the day today, I can make it complicated enough that you just, you, you can just do it on autopilot, okay? The hardest questions, okay?